Today we're going to go over seven awesome Mac terminal tips. We're going to be able to check the network quality. We're going to be able to run software updates. We're going to gather Mac security and Mac hardware info. We're going to take a look at the CPU and disk usage. I'm going to show you how to show a calendar. We're going to take a look at our logins and reboot data. And then we're going to run an email from the command line. Let's dive in. All right, so let's open up the terminal by doing command spacebar to initiate spotlight and type in terminal and hit return. Command plus to blow this window up. All right, the first command I'm going to show you is network quality. So just type in network quality and hit return. And it's going to run through an upload and a download. And it's going to tell you what your speeds are. So it's gonna finish this in just a second. As you can see, it shows our upload capacity, our download capacity, how many upload flows and download flows we've got, and how responsive our network connection is. Pretty slick little tool to be able to run from the command line, really quick and easy. All right, the next thing we're gonna check out is software updates. So the software update command we're just going to run a minus L and this is going to go look and see if we have any available software updates. All right, so there's no new software available for this Mac. If there was, what I can do is write software update minus I A and a capital R. The I stands for install, the A is for all software updates that are available in the list, and the capital R stands for reboot, so if any of the updates require a reboot. All right, so now let's take a look at some Mac security and Mac hardware information that's super easy to gather. We're gonna type in sudo because it requires elevated access, and then we're gonna have to type out the long form uh, URL to this uh, command MDM client is the command and I'm gonna do query security info and I'm gonna hit return it's gonna ask me for a password and it's gonna gather all the security info on this device this line tells me that I'm able to log into the device this is going to be enabled if I were tied to a, a mobile device management server. This next line item, you absolutely need that to be a 1 so that you can approve the kernel extensions. You also need this to be a 1 so that you can run software updates. If we take a look at this line right here, FDE enabled, that is your file vault disk encryption. It's not enabled. If I want to enable it, I can open up system preferences. Go over to security and privacy, click on file vault, and I can click turn on file vault. Please note that if you lose your login password and your recovery key, you're not accessing this data. So make sure that you write those down if you enable this. The other thing to note is that when you enable file vault on your system, when you first boot up your Mac, you get to what's called the pre-boot file vault window. That's gonna ask you for your password. And at that point in time, before you enter your password, the device is not reachable on the network. It's completely encrypted. You're entering the password to unencrypt that device and then it'll log in. So enabling file vault is a great thing to do. The next line item is our firewall settings. If I go back into security and privacy and I click on the firewall section and I click turn on firewall, we can click firewall options and this will give us some different options of where we might want to add an app to the firewall to allow it to uh, accept incoming connections. We can click block all incoming connections if we want. We can mess with this stuff down here. Enable stealth mode is kind of nice. All right, let's. Is recovery lock enabled is a mobile device management feature that just came out recently. Great feature for managed devices for a company. Uh, remote desktop is enabled on this device. I allow remote access into the device. 
If you don't know how to do that, I have a couple videos on that, so definitely go check those out. Secure Boot is the settings that you're gonna see when you are booted into your recovery partition and there are different options that you can set. So external boot level is allowed, secure boot level full. So it's basically saying that I have full security on that boot level and I allow external booted devices. The device does have system integrity protection enabled, which is great. And that's it for a quick look of security info. What's great is I can arrow up, let me hit Command K. I can change this to device information and it's gonna pull up all the information about this Mac, all sorts of information. So you can look at pretty much everything and figure out exactly all the info you need to about your device. The next command we're gonna use is gonna take a look at the disk usage and CPU usage. So let's run IOSTAT and you're gonna be able to see that the disk usage is going to be on this side over here. You have kilobytes per transfer. Then you have transfers per second. And then you have megabytes per second. When we take a look at CPU, you're going to get CPU time in user mode, CPU time in system mode, and the CPU time in idle mode. So you can take a look and then you've got your averages, the load average. Next command is going to be just to show a calendar. You just type cal. Quick and easy tool to pull up the calendar and see the date. The next command we're going to do is going to take a look at logins and reboots and we're going to type in last. And last is going to show me everything. Reboot, shutdown, it gives you all the data that you're going to want if you want to know if somebody rebooted your Mac or restarted it, how long has it been logged in, you'll be able to find out all that information with the last command. Alright, so now the last command that we're going to go over is emailing from the command line. I absolutely love doing this. I actually put this into a lot of my scripts. So like if I run a backup script, I'll have it email me if there's any errors or anything like that. So you type in echo and then the next set of words is going to be what we're going to use for the subject. So I'm going to say this is my subject text. And then I am going to pipe that to the mail command and I'm going to do a minus S and then I'm going to do quotes around results, oh, results of text. I put a space after that and I'm going to do uh, my email address and I'm going to do Max security at gmail.com. And I'm going to hit return. Now I'm going to wait for the email to come in. All right, so I'm going to have to head to my junk email box, and you're going to see that it just popped up at the top there. If you have any favorite commands that you want to share with us, definitely leave them down in the comments. You guys have an amazing day. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel because it really helps me out. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And you guys have an amazing day. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.